Hey guys, this is Odd1 Gaming, and this is going to be a Raid Shadow Legends video. So, we have the fusion going on for Gaius, the, what's his name again? The bomb jam. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting his name? Anyway, so we have the fusion going on, and one of the next tournament that is going to pop today is the Spider Tournament. So I thought, okay, since this one's going to... Um, it's gonna start in 36 minutes. Maybe some people would like to see the team that I'm using for Spider 25. And I said, okay, you know what? Let me let me just post this one out so they they see the the one that I'm using and try to explain a little bit the way it works and what other options you have if you don't have these specific champions. So as you see, this one that the time that you saw there, the 24 seconds was was another one that I experimented with, but it wasn't reliable enough. Whenever I try to do something for myself or for somebody else or try to showcase something, I always try to showcase uh, teams that are 100% successful or close to 100% successful. As we know, there's only that 3%. The team that I'm currently using is, like I said, really close to 100% successful. And it's pretty simple principle. Let me move myself out of the way. It's using an AOE HP burn champion in Mordecai, uh, control champion, a CC champion in Achak, Two cold hearts for their enemy max HP and then a reset champion in Renegade because I don't have Kaima. If I had the Kaima, that would have been faster because of the animations. So first of all, let me play this round so you see how it goes. Then I'm going to show you the, the masteries that I'm using on the champions and the presets and, you know, all explain all the builds and give you options to, to be able to build the same team or something similar. As you see, I want one of the cold hearts to be faster so all the spiderlings are down when I put the AOE HP burn. Then you get a reset. We put HP bomb, put the lockout, get the reset, HP burn again, and uh, freeze again. Even if the HP bomb wouldn't have popped, it would have popped the next turn because I have my new reflex for uh, for Hydra. But this is the principle, basically. You have the two core hearts that do both of their heart seekers for uh, for the AoE, <coughs> not for AoE, for enemy max HP damage and perimeter control on the spider, and then the spider link slowly start burning. Doesn't matter if our people drop. We kill them, like 37 seconds. This one's actually slower for me. It was just uh, because I'm recording and because I'm, I'm uh, yeah, because I'm recording, the animations are a little bit slower because it slows down my PC. That's what usually happens. But this team usually it's 35 seconds or under. Like it goes really fast because like I said, just get a heart seeker, heart seeker burns. The, the good thing and the reason why I try to get this type of CC like a freeze or a stun is because spiderlings do not take a turn. That's what usually makes stuff slower, animation. See, like, my Renegade's running towards the main spider to, to hit it, that's like two seconds lost. So every time a spiderling attack, attacks as well, see, it's a few seconds, one, two seconds. That's, that's the turn that you lose, that's the animations that you lose. So let me show you exactly the way that I, that I have built this one. So if you go to presets, I have my a track open and only use his AOE freeze you don't want him to use the a2 because again a2 has an animation that's one two seconds you can cut it out because you do not care about it you only care about him doing the freeze and doing the a1 for the turn meter control if you have evil eye if you have evil eye then he does a little bit of turn meter control cold hearts both of them open and only use heart seekers lock their a2 out you do not want to do aoe damage you want the damage to come from from hp burns then you have Mordecai that only does the A3 as the AOE HP burn. Lock out the A2. Reason why I'm doing this is because you do not want to push back the terminator of the spiderlings and the main spider as on the main spider it looks only half and well, you know, you want to let the, the spiderlings have a turn so they can burn. Plus on the A1, he, he does a little bit of terminator control. I can book this one out, but I think this is my second uh, Mordecai because I use two for, for Hydra and I just swap gear between them. And then Renegade, like, just just for the A3. Like, this Renegade can actually be a level 30 Renegade that you want to be 151 speed. Because the Spidering speed are 150, you would just need the Renegade to reset them, and that's it. Or if you have a Kaimar, even better. If you would have a Kaimar, maybe he would go faster, then you could make that Kaimar open with the A1 or A2, and then do his reset. But this is the team, it's pretty fast, it's pretty consistent. So that's that's the whole principle. You want to have, like I said, somebody that goes faster in case if you have a Kaimar, a Kaimar. If not one of the cold hearts, as you see, I have this one at 228. Everybody else is slower. So you have all the spider links, so you can burn them all and freeze them all. Uh, another another uh, variation that I used was one with ACOS, same principle, used ACOS and then uh, ACHAC again for the freeze. 
but uh, this is something that it's, I guess it's more achievable as you get a call from the from the normal doom tower he's the second champion from the you know if you do the secret rooms okay bloody hell don't do this at home guys don't waste don't waste your uh, your energy I forgot I forgot to put the presets so let's do them live so you can put priority do not use HP burn as priority heart seeker do not use a3 a2 sorry heart seeker do not use a2 and she's gonna do the reset so let's try this again this might be a little bit slower for me because i have my acos in relentless but i want to show that the principle is the same acos hp burn says it's only 25 20 percent chance but it goes up by 20 percent for every champ uh, enemy so there's like 10 spiderlings is gonna always place it so as you see boom AVHP burn reset do a once freeze again a1 he's gonna do the hp burns again then we need to come back with a heart seeker heart seeker and then you just let the spiderlings uh, slowly start attacking you and burn and you die see so he gets some extra turns because of that relentless so now it's just gonna be they're gonna keep burning keep burning and they're gonna come and start attacking us killing us and we die sorry we die but the main spider dies look at this same thing 40 seconds 40 seconds so it's it's pretty easy it's pretty simple honestly obviously yeah, it depends if you, if you don't have any of the cold hearts like that's that's really bad luck but uh by the time you try to get to farm stage 25 consistently i'm quite sure you you would have already pulled like two three five ten cold hearts and even a renegade or if, if not a chimer then definitely some renegades but for the like the main champions there's there's several options for the hp burners like if you if you don't have the if you, like I said, if you do not have the uh, the Mordecai that places it, you have the easy option of getting it into a cost which you get from the Doom Tower. If not, then there's there's you have Tyrant in here. That's uh, another good champion. He does the same thing. A we HP burn. Then if you don't get this one, you have the options of Bigan. So HP burn options are quite quite a lot. Like if you get Bigan, he's I guess he would be the best one because if he's booked, he cannot be resisted. So you don't need to put any accuracy on him, just the right speed, and he's he he would be really good for this one. Then when it comes to the the to the the controlling option, there's so many there's so many options. Like for example, let me see anybody here that can think of. Okay, if you do not have like if you're really unlucky, you can try and RNG it and just use helmet for the stun. He he if he crits, he has a chance a 75% chance to stun. That's what I used before. It's not as reliable, but if you don't have any other option, if you didn't pull anybody else for control, use Archmage. If you're not Archmage, you can use a miscreated monster. You can use a Astralon. If you don't use it for something else, he has a hundred percent chance to stun. We have in the high elves uh where is he? You have in the high elves Basilius Ranas, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Basilius Ranas. 100% chance to stun. So you have several options. You just basically need somebody that does that control in there. That does either AOE stun or AOE, uh, uh, AOE freeze. It can work with uh, fear, true fear as well, but that's not as reliable and I wouldn't recommend it. So this is this is the base, this is the the core team that you would use, and this is like really efficient if you're trying to get you know the best quality uh, the best quality. Uh, accessories that you can from farming stage 25 if you're trying to do other stages though please bear in mind if you're using for example if you're if you see this team and you're thinking oh let me use it on stage 20 be careful because somebody like Achak he can weak hit because he's wrong affinity always bear in mind the affinity if he weak hits he's not gonna place the burns or if you try to go stage let me see okay stage 24 same thing Achak is not gonna work here because I mean he's still gonna work, but he's gonna be so unreliable because of weak hitting. So always bear in mind the champions that use for HP burn and for the control because you do not want them to be weak affinity. So always choose the stage that's helpful for you if you're gonna go the HP the AOE HP burn and uh, CC uh, option. That's <laughs> that's that's what I wanted to make sure I mentioned because you know sometimes it's uh, sometimes people forget it. One more thing that I want to show masteries. Acoth have no masteries. The cold hearts I have damage masteries. This one has not even any masteries. This one's built for dark fey. Nothing on this renegade. Mordecai again no masteries just booked. And then Acoth, the masteries that I did for Acoth because he has a 90% chance of placing freeze when booked. If you want to build masteries on him, just get him this one, get him fearsome presence to make a 95% chance to freeze. It works even without this, but you know, you want as much reliability as you can get out of him. 
But yeah, this is my this is my Spider 25 team. It's pretty fast, it's pretty reliable. I'm quite happy with it. I have some other options, but they're not as reliable because I got the Crypt King. It's not as reliable because you want somebody that places a consistent HP burn for him to do the extend and you know stuff like that. Or I could make like him to do a solo shot, but that's gonna be for another video. So this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this one helps you out. Uh if you're if you're regular to my channel, please uh, consider dropping a subs uh, sub to my channel. I'm trying to hit that 1,000 uh, subscribers. I'm like 90 away right now. So if you really if you if this one helps you and you want to help me out back, please just drop me a subscription, and that's gonna that's gonna mean the world to me. But see you in the next video, guys. Peace, love, take care. Bye, everyone.